Kitchen. Welcome back. We are Chefs. excited to have you. Jake Weisler, Nate Tehan, Runaway Vows, ah, and this is The Kitchen Podcast. Hmm? Uh, maybe one of these days we'll do a reiteration of why we call it The Kitchen, but today's <laughs> episode is sponsored by Music Bed. We are excited to have them here on The Kitchen. You know, as filmmakers, I'd say one of the hardest parts of our job is finding music that really matches the vibe we're going for. I've been down that rabbit hole, hours of searching, only to land on tracks that are, you know, fine but not perfect, not really what I'm looking for. That's why five years ago, we switched to Musicbed and never looked back. The moment we started using Musicbed, we realized they're not just another generic licensing platform. They've redefined what music should be for filmmakers because the tracks are authentic, emotional, and made by real artists. I mean, like, seriously, you can really feel the difference. They've set this insane standard for quality too, and they're very picky about the amount of artists that they accept on their platform. So it's not like you're just sifting through fluff everything is highly curated and their new ai powered search tool is amazing i can find the perfect track in minutes instead of hours so if you're ready to elevate your work and win more clients over head over to Musicbed and start your free 14-day trial today trust me it's a total game changer for filmmakers like us we'll put the link below all right jake today i'm excited about this episode here i'm excited right. about all of our episodes this one it's just an excited little guy i'm just a little ball of joint just psyched out of his mind for these psyched ideas. Out of my mind. uh we're gonna read uh some some facebook dilemmas here great i guess one is a dilemma Get name uh, names uh i got permission on the first one okay. and the only way i can is if we don't name That's names fine. because it involves a couple but we'll know who it is yes yes <laughs> uh uh, someone who does, you know, research enough, they could probably find it. Um, this, local? No. Is no, it no. a man? Let's just kind of really dial this in for a no, Let's just I'm make kidding, it I'm as kidding, specific as possible. I'm kidding. All right. Um, okay. Facebook this, group dilemmas. The second one is not from our wedding videography runaway. It, it's not from that. It's a different Facebook group. We're poaching. Group. We're poaching content. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry about that. I'm not going to say which, which group it is. But it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> we know which one it is. Okay. So we're going to be talking about two posts okay. today. One related. No. How about I let you explain it and then I'll. <laughs> so Jake, if you just let me. <laughs> no, um, they're not related. Okay. Two different people. Okay. Let me set the scene here. Okay. Two different people, two different problems okay. completely. Okay. Um, but hopefully two different teaching opportunities. Hope so. Mixed in with some banter, of course. Okay. Um, the first one, again, I can't say the name. I'm, <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to read the Facebook post. Um, and I just want, we're, we're just going to bounce some thoughts off each other. Okay. Um, so this post is from. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so Samuel Hansen. So, so wrote. Samuel Hansen. No, no. Okay. Uh, the post said this, and this got a lot of comments. It said, sadly, I found out. Uh, sadly, I found out a couple has divorced prior to receiving their wedding film from me. Obviously, I want to take the best approach here for the couple. It was a quick and nasty breakup. That being said, how would y'all approach this? I have the wedding film sitting in an email draft. Do I send it over? Do I offer a FOMO edit instead? Looking for any thoughts. <laughs> offer a FOMO edit is wild. That is. <laughs> hey, here's every single moment. From I know that you didn't day. want the highlight, but here's every moment. Okay. Kind of a so yeah. So the film's done. The film is done. Okay, so I I might just be a little bit too black and white about this. I think it's an easy email, just saying, Send "Hey, over. heard about everything, saying prayers your way. Hope you're doing good. Um, just wanted to make sure we're on the same page. I have your gallery. Mm. What would you like me to do with it? Yeah, send it over, or I can delete it. Just let me know. Yeah, or I could just keep it on my archive drives, and you can let me know." in a year from now. Yeah. I don't know. That's how I would approach it. Let, let the client decide yeah. and not make a decision. It sounds like... That's uh, a boring answer for a discussion. No, no, but. yes. But but it sounds like this person, they're not working with a planner. This is just, yeah. you know, bride and yeah. I guess previous bride and groom yeah. to a uh, wedding videographer. And so, yeah, communication. Yeah, I would just and, ask, and what do you want me to do? There, were, I mean, there were some people that were saying, send over a FOMO edit. And it's like, ooh, I think... Oh, someone commented that? There are a lot of comments. And some people, some people were saying, like, send over the FOMO edit. Um, but I would say the overwhelming majority 
is saying like, just reach out. There was somebody who said, where'd you hear this from? <laughs> make sure, make sure it's, uh, you're getting the right, the news <laughs> correct. <laughs> because what if you just assume they were divorced and they weren't? Exactly. That's why you should just send an right. email. So definitely like communication, reach out. And oh, the say, bride didn't tell him that. It doesn't say in the post. It doesn't say. It's unclear. If I didn't hear from the bride, I would in the gallery. It's unclear in the post. He just said they, they got divorced. It was a quick and nasty breakup. So I don't know if the, the bride the bride reached out to the video, videographer or if they just heard from other people that that was the case. Um, but first step, make sure it's legit. Make sure, you know, it's from the couple themselves that you're hearing that from. Uh, not from like... That reminds me. I actually... It reminds me of something as well. I've, I have a, a buddy of ours got proposed to or proposed talking about Samuel? Did she know? <laughs> Samuel's getting And married. they had a photographer there. Okay. And uh, I ran into that photographer a week later after I knew that the proposal was off and they broke up and the uh, wedding was off. Wait, 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 start. You, you, you had a friend who was going to propose? They proposed. The photographer captured it. Okay. Right after the proposal got broken off. <sighs> wedding, like just really right after. Oh, no. Um. She said yes in the moment, but then thought about it overnight and said, actually, no. <laughs> yeah. um, so sad. Anyway, sad. I ran to that photographer a week later or two, and we, and then that <laughs> was at the temple. <laughs> that guy just so happened to, to cross our paths walking in the, for a session groom, while we were waiting for a wedding. And oh, I no. was like, ah, oh, good guy. Oh, no. She's like, yeah, I just shot his proposal. She's like, I got to him to that gallery still. And luckily, we didn't bring it up when he crossed our paths. So you knew it this time. And I was like, oh, you they, knew they called it. I was it like, off. oh, they're. Like, oh, <laughs> she glad I didn't send it over. Um, I don't know if she ever what she ended up doing. I'm sure. Yeah, I feel like it should be on him to say, "Hey, we're broken up. Don't send me the gallery." So my story to go along that that I'm being reminded of here. This is a couple of years ago. Um, shot for a, for a couple. Okay. Um, you know they were great. Like we were friends. Delivered their video and everything. Nothing. Nothing was wrong. Fast forward to their one year anniversary. Um, out with Samuel Hansen, I'm helping him second shoot a a, a wedding. I, I won't comment on his wedding, but it was a wedding in in California, and I get this notification saying, "Hey, it's this couple's one year anniversary." And so I'm like, "Oh shoot!" Uh, I'm trying to be more serious about my business here. Like I want to you know, be better toward my couples, so I just pull open Instagram and I pull open like an old photo of theirs and I just post on my story like, "Happy one year anniversary to." Well, X, X the one and y. time Nate does this. The one time I, I've I've only done it once, and it happened this way, and I won't do it again. Happy an, happy one year anniversary to these two people, and uh, within about one minute, guess who responded to me? It's one of our friends. Guess guess who is just so involved? That Spencer. They, yeah. <laughs> How the hell? Spencer Spencer responded within like. It was like a couple minutes. As and post notifications he, he turned just, on. He just probably, he DM'd me like, did you not hear? And I'm like, what? He's like, they got divorced. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. Not like, a like, oh my gosh. Um, and it it really just unraveled from there. And so like, I go to, you know, delete it. Uh, because, you know, it's one year out. Like, I've delivered their video. The the couple doesn't need to tell me it. Delivered their video like a month ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was a little late. The couple doesn't need to you know tell me ten months into their marriage when I delivered their video two months into their marriage. Like, hey, by the way, like we're divorced. Like, yeah. so I didn't know. Um, so I delete the story, but the damage was done because this is from my point of view. I never have heard from the bride since. Really, wow. She actually inquired to get. Uh, me to video her her second marriage, but didn't happen. But um, oh, damage was done. The the groom, the, the the guy reached out to me, and I'm getting live info from Spencer saying like we're team bride the plugged in. We're saying we're team bride. He did this. He did that. He has a restraining order. Like he can't be. Oh he has to be in a different state from this bride. And um, so they're like we're team bride all the way. So I'm getting this live feed from Spencer and Nikel. But the groom he saw the story. And he's reaching out to me like, hey, man, like, I don't know if you heard, we got divorced, like this happened and like her parents hate me and they framed me and they did this and set me up and like, I'm not allowed to see her. I love her so much. Can you send me the video? Can you do this and this? And like asking for all these favors. And I'm just like, I just had to be like, hey, man, I don't know what's going on, but like, I don't feel like this is my place. I, this is not my place. Uh, 
Yeah, what do you do? I just, you know, wish you the best. And I just kind of logged off and, and let it. But that was my one experience trying to, uh, you know, provide a better experience for my Wild. clients. And I wished a divorced couple happy anniversary. That's so awkward. It was awkward. I hate that. I haven't done it since. I hate that. But anyways, back to this story, the Facebook. Man. Communicate. Yeah, just communicate. Got to be plugged in. Make sure you hear it from the bride. Yeah. Who's who's suggesting a FOMO edit? Name I, their name. Because imagine you go through a messy breakup, you guys, and then your videographer's like, do you want every single moment of that day let instead me, of your film? Let me let me make sure I didn't just make that up. No, I remember this thread. Let me it's just coming back. Let me just make sure I didn't make up people saying give them the the FOMO Maybe edit. Maybe it was in satire. Maybe we got some jokesters in but the group. But still, you should you should be communicate. That's the simple. Anyway, I think we beat this to death, but... Okay. Oh, yeah, you even commented. <laughs> what if your comment was completely different from what you just said? No, you just said, uh, I would reach out, ask them politely how they'd want to move forward, go from there. Um, okay, hang on. Well, let, me, let me just... I, get, I'm, I'm consistent. Look at that. Okay, someone said, caterers got paid, venue got paid, the band got paid, you put in hours. Uh, if they are difficult and ask for a refund, just gently remind them. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Sorry, how, sweetie, how, honey. Fine. You're good. It's okay. Anyway. I remember that comment, though. Maybe I got deleted for being stupid. Oh, someone said, if you don't deliver it, you low-key could be sued for not delivering a product. I mean, technically, I someone guess. Someone said, I would just deliver it. Yeah. I I think you just email the bride. What do you want me to do with this? It's yours. But these people you bought it. These people, yeah, these people aren't saying, can you just send Get it over? sued is crazy. You're not going to withhold it if they ask for it. Could you imagine, man? You don't yeah. deliver it. And she's like, Sh- I got sued for not delivering their de- yeah. video because they got... That'd be crazy. That'd be messy. If she sues you without asking you for the film, it's mm, just... Our friend, Ryan Lawrence Hinman. Gosh. Just deliver it and move on. Yeah. Nothing you can do. Fulfill the contract and just on to the next wedding. Yeah. Fulfill the contract. Black and white. I like it. I like it too. Okay. That's Dilemma from Facebook number one. Okay. Okay. Next one, I'm a little more excited to sink my teeth into it. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, we're not going to name names from which uh, Facebook group this is from, but arguably probably the most toxic one. On the the web, the inter internet. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> if they're listening to this and they recognize the story, like they talk about us. I guess I am going to read this story word for word, so it wouldn't be hard to find. Okay, this is how the post goes. It said we're looking, we're urgently looking for a videographer for a wedding in Maryland on September twenty first, this upcoming Saturday. Filming from eleven thirty, the twenty first of September. Do you? Yeah. Wow. Popular she, date. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, the vendor table, talking about how they hate that song. It's like their most hated what? song. I I agree with the vendor table on a lot, but they posted their thing saying like, yeah. what is the most hated song? And they're like, has to be. I'm indifferent to it. I love that, I like that song, song, dude. I don't, I don't love it, but who, I like it. But who doesn't like it? I mean, Do ranking it against that? Brightside, not close for me, but well, a lot, a, of, a lot of the comments were like, yeah, that and Brightside. I'm like... <laughs> There's a special place in hell for those if people. If you don't like Brightside, gosh, yeah. get out of here. Um, okay, so they got married. Okay, so we're, urgent, we're urgently looking for a videographer for a wedding in Maryland on September 21st, this upcoming Saturday, filming from 11.30 a.m. to 21.30, which is, I believe, 9, 9.30 p.m. Uh, so what is that, 10 hours of filming? For all, $1,000, no editing, only shooting, please DM. Okay, so I'm a like... in advance. Yeah, okay, okay, so... I already know you guys aren't going to like my response to this question. Okay, well, I'm excited here. So I'm focused mainly on price. They're offering $1,000 to shoot. They're not editing. And everyone is like, is this the return of Tolman Media? People are like, did you forget an extra yeah. zero? Classic. Classic. Just like people complaining Classic. like, only $1,000? Classic, huh? That's all the comments. Uh-huh. Just saying, only $1,000? What's wrong? Is this is... Mm-hmm. People are saying, quote, from <laughs> people that we know. Name one. Uh, I won't, but come on. Uh, he no, said, "He said, is this a scam?" Yeah. And so, my first thought, th- I'm going to share my thought, Please. and I'll, I'll, you can share no. what you are going to keep the spirit here. I, I guess this can kind of go back to the ego thing that we were talking about last last episode. A thousand dollars is not a small chunk of change. Our job's not that hard. It's if you relative. boil it down, mm-hmm. that's a hundred bucks an hour. You're making more per hour at that point than a to lot of people. I'll, I'll wait. You 
you you can take a drive, go wherever you want. You are making more than the people at your grocery store, or the people at your restaurants. You're making more than a lot of people doing $100 per hour. And to sit there and say, you, did you miss a zero? Did you miss this? Like, I, I charge at least $1,500, $2,000. No Good for you. Okay, anyway. Um, granted, it was short on time. I get it. But to sit there and say, ew, why even throw this out there? My, my opinion is that if I'm having going, anything going on that Saturday, let's say like my wife has gone out, like I'm just going to be home. There's no good college football games on. Yeah, sure. Why not? Panthers I'll shoot. are sucking. Yeah, I'm, I'm not editing. I'll go shoot. Sure. That's my thought. $1,000 is $1,000. It's better than $0. What are your thoughts on that post? Yeah, the comments disgust me. Right? Like I, in my first year, first two years even, I would have jumped at the thought of a last minute thousand bucks. Yeah. I would have cried tears of joy. Right. And and then the ego comes in when that post was for people who want that gig. Right. That post is for trying to find somebody in those parameters who can do a last minute thousand dollars shooting only wedding. Mm -hmm. If you're booked. If you're a five thousand dollar videographer or a ten thousand, why are you even wasting your time commenting? I don't. Why are you in the comment section judging somebody for taking that I gig don't when I know it. for a fact you would have taken that gig years ago? I don't get why it. Why are we? Why? It's and it's just projecting that you want other people to think that you're more important than that. Right. No one cares. Keep scrolling. Right. Keep scrolling. Not relevant to you. And this happened in FTF all the time. People like posting, need a second shooter. Only have you know. 400 bucks for the day. Everyone's like, 400? I'm like, keep scrolling. Mm -hmm. If that's not your price, everyone's Dude. price is different. <sighs> we live in a capitalist. No one has the same rates. Mm -hmm. So move on. Right. There are budgets for everything. Dude, I... Oh, it drives me crazy. Imagine, 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 okay? At the end of the day, this is a service, or sorry, a product that they're selling, right? Imagine. I walk up to you, and I'm like, I'm thirsty. Oh, we're doing another one of these analogies. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't you the burger. What? Let's go back to the burger. All right. I'm thirsty. Let's say I walk. Yeah. Let's, water's easier for this scenario. I walk up and say, I'm thirsty. I need water right now. And you say, oh, and I say, I have a dollar to spend on water. And you are a big Voss guy. <laughs> and you're like, a freaking dollar. What? And you're holding Voss like, are you stupid? Do I look like Do you know the pH levels and like dollar Do I look water? Like chopped liver. And it's just like okay. Well, I'm just looking for a dollar water. <laughs> I'm not looking for Voss. I'm looking for a dollar water. And this person isn't looking for the videographer. Right. They're looking for a one thousand dollar videographer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so everybody who wants that gig is now looking at those comments, wanting to be selected, <clears throat> thinking, "Wow, I could really use that money to pay my rent this month, right? Buy groceries, or help my just, wife get through school, or even school. just fun money." Or pay for my kid, or buy food put, for put my family. A, yeah, put, yeah. Put it or towards like, a vacation. It's just been a rough month. I am still behind my taxes, and then they're looking at these comments like, "Oh, this is." I don't want to be embarrassed yeah. to yeah. be the guy who takes this gig, which it looks like everyone's shaming. Mm -hmm. Should I charge more? It's like no, you, you should because you're not worth that yet. Right. And so they're probably just probably DMing the bride. It's just awkward. It's just it's just shameful. And, and this is why I hate the community. And and, and, and these same people, th this just reminds me, I, I think we talked about this a, a couple weeks ago on the, the podcast. I saw this this Instagram thread saying like, oh, so all you are working for, you know, you won't leave the house for $1,500, $2,000 a day. Like, I'm going to take that $300 gig. Mm -hmm. Stay poor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these same people who are commenting are probably the same ones who are complaining about the industry, complaining about not <laughs> getting paid, complaining about the value of videographers being diluted by content creators and like this, like take the gig if you want it. You don't have to, if you don't think that's worth your time. It's like they're, it's like they're begging <clears throat> for a high ticket item and letting money walk by them mm. is what bothers me. Yeah. And it's like, okay, your time is value, valuable time is money, you know, learn how to say no. I get all those principles. Uh, but again, if it doesn't apply to you, just, Ignore it. Walk, Why walk are you triggered away. by it? Yeah. I think it's funny. It's It reminds me of when I released Wedding Video Pro. Mm -hmm. And I had, I wish I could name their names. I'll find them and I'll happily name their names one day on this podcast. But just these old dogs who are so hateful towards Wedding Video Pro because it wasn't how they do it. And it was a beginner course. 
It wasn't for them. I'm like, what are you talking about? You don't need to watch it. What are you so triggered by? And then I was like, oh, you're projecting your own insecurities mm -hmm. onto me. Mm -hmm. You're mad that I'm finding success with beginners mm -hmm. and I'm helping people at level one, two, and three. Even if you're at level seven and eight, you feel threatened by a level three. Mm -hmm. That's embarrassing for you. Yeah. It's awkward. Same thing applies and that's today. how this comment thread feels to me. It's like, it's embarrassing. Everyone who's commenting in that thread, and I, I hope there's friends of, theirs, of ours in there listening, it's embarrassing to just be associated it. in that comment section leave because it. it just proves the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, the same thing applies today, like with Wedding Video Pro, the same thing applies to workshops. People who hate on workshops, ooh, they're a scam. Ooh, you only post workshops. Ooh, it's not mm -hmm. real. Ooh, you control it. It's like... If you don't want to come to workshops, great. I'm happy mm -hmm. for you. I'm happy your business is doing well. There are some people who are kind of stuck in the water and they want mm -hmm. more content. They 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 want some mm -hmm. some stuff to post. Sue me, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> who cares? Not yeah. for you. Or just like how about having the humility to, to like if I have a free Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, dude, and someone says, "Hey, I got any 500 bucks for your time for a few hours." I'm like, "Absolutely." Absolutely. Who makes 100 bucks an hour? Dude, <laughs> happily. <laughs> Happily, like I'll, sign me up. If I'm and not doing also, anything, yeah, and K, put your ego aside. You're a more established videographer, whatever the hell that means. Second shooting for maybe a more beginner videographer. We've all done it. Oh, what a fun opportunity, dude, to I, learn from somebody new with fresh eyes on the scene and say, well, I wonder how they do it. Mm -hmm. Or also, maybe it's a time for me to serve them and add more value to this mm -hmm. film. Mm -hmm. Like, just help, dude. I, I've said it before, I would be a full time associate shooter. It's fun if, if you could just be booked. Five days a week, mm -hmm. making a thousand bucks a gig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I love it. That's yeah. a great yeah. career. That is a if lot of Lorev money. If made me an offer, I take it. This is the one episode Cherish isn't listening to. It's a, <laughs> it needs to be a certain <laughs> offer though. But yeah, no, it, no. Principle being, it is just it's fun. Yeah, I'm, seriously, a thousand bucks is actually on the high end for me for what they're asking. I would, which we'll we'll talk about this in the past, but that's that's a preview into the. It's just yeah, it's just like it's just like a, I don't know, last minute gig. Clearly kind of a thrown together wedding it's not some huge portfolio piece mm -hmm. they just need a camera yeah i um and was this in a creative community it is a creative so they probably want to edit a, their own film yeah it is That's a creative why community they just want the footage yeah it, it just yeah, says so like <laughs> what do we argue dude, dude handing right? off an sd card dude a thousand dollars no editing uh, only shooting from 11 30 to 21 30 9 30 like yeah is this the return of tolman media like no yeah, some guy even said, for 12 hours, <laughs> give me your shot list, make it 1500 plus a plane ticket and hotel. I'm an FX shooter. I can send my reel. And then someone's <sighs> like, your math is wrong. <laughs> but yeah, Dude, it's just... Uh, Where was this wedding? Uh, this was going to be in Maryland. Again. No one's asking for you to fly in. They're, right, they're nobody's looking for asking. a local to Maryland, $1,000 videographer. For 10 hours, $1,000. It just and, and again, there was no context to m sometimes bookings just get mixed. Like for all we know, this couple was booked for another day and they had to like shift it to this Saturday. And this cup, these people were supposed to cover it. Maybe they were like, oh, oh shoot, like we'll make mm -hmm. it happen. And so that's why they're outsourcing. Like you just don't know what happened. Okay. So I did an elopement one time. Um, My, my very first elopement, okay. you were there with me. Oh, um, and I posted the way I got as I posted, I wanted to break into the elopement scene. So I put on my story and I promoted this post saying, I'll do my, the first elopement for free. I advertised that. Yeah. And the bride was just over the, she ended up paying actually yeah. uh, a pretty decent rate, but, but she was over the moon thrilled that I was offering that. And so the same thing in my, in the spirit of just being helpful and what Schwarzenegger says, being useful. Mm -hmm. Someone needs something at that price. You don't know their background, their story, what's going on in their life, anything. And the same with the vendor who wants that gig. Just benefit the doubt. Mm -hmm. Why Why are we accusing, I think, uh, not to get political, but I think Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, one of my, my dogs recently, I just love this guy. He just said, like, why are we accusing first and then investigating second? Why can't we investigate and learn more and then make our accusations anymore? It's just or too easy. Conclusions, you it's know? just too easy on But now we, we accuse someone of something and then we want to dive into it. Like what the last week the dress mm -hmm. lady did. Yeah. Let's let's just let's just be more be more useful. Yeah. And just 
to let people who want to get into this business get it. We, don't, we all know how hard it is to get into videography. Those first few gigs are crucial. And what we said at the beginning, that thousand bucks could go a long way for somebody. That could. Yeah. 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 I think back to when $800 was what I would charge for a full, but, like even yeah. editing. Yeah. But this this form of, of toxic community bullying um, is a is a is a reinvented standard of just silencing someone. Yeah. It's a way to 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 bully someone into silence, and so that mm-hmm. nobody ever feels that they can share their prices or say they charge a thousand dollars ever again. Because yeah. there's a freaking spectrum, I and know. if there's a spectrum, <laughs> which we all know there is, because not two people in this community charge the same amount. So, by definition, if there's a spectrum, there has to be an end to that spectrum, mm-hmm. which is zero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then there's videographers who I know who have charged over six figures. And we all are somewhere on the spectrum. Somewhere. So why are we shaming somebody who's at a different point in the spectrum? Why aren't we shaming? It's just stupid. Preach it. <sighs> Am I about to get on this Facebook post and just <laughs> preach? No, it's not. This? But again, that's breathing more life into this thing. Even just talking about on this podcast, I think this is a very educational way to debunk and hopefully reverse the, the conversation. But yeah, I just and and, me. and for all we know, maybe it was a scam. Maybe it, could it been. never happened. But but principle no, stands. It, it could have been. Let's assume this is just a a perfectly valid offer. Everything is exactly how they posted it, and they are willing to pay a thousand dollars if you show up and shoot for ten hours. Principle stands. Like things we've said. What if the videographer by? died in a car wreck the week before? <laughs> And what if the only money they have to their name is a thousand bucks? What if it was a husband and wife duo and the uh, one of them got crazy sick and they're in the hospital? Like, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know. But that leads me to the pass. Okay. okay? If you've made it this far in the episode, uh, I don't feel like saying sorry this time because most of the time I want to say sorry when we do the written by you because those are a little like <laughs> No, I feel like it's been pretty good. Um the pass is where we talk about topics that are across the community, across the industry. We try to get to the bottom of some things. So we're going to stick with the, the principle here. I'm so, getting so dizzy looking at you, dude, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see walls. these slat walls. I've been staring at Nate, and it's just like a pattern. I know. Anyway, it's kind of like when it's, when it's when you start those like nine dots, yeah. and you see the gray yeah, in between yeah. them, and you so look away, and it's not there. So mid-conversation, you guys know why. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so, Jacob, I want to ask you, disregard everything. Disregard being a videographer and Megaplex. a business. No. What? Yeah, Sorry. what's your plan? <laughs> disregard being a videographer and a business, like disregard uh, shooting versus editing, disregard all that. How much is a wedding videographer worth per hour? <laughs> Average. Uh, like what is, how much are we, the work we do, how much is it actually worth? I think I reject the premise of the question. I think there's reframe, such a spectrum. Reframe and the such premise. A different market. Well, no, it's just like let's there's so average, many markets. Average. Let's say. Let's say. Okay. Let's to shoot. Let's exclude. We're we're not talking Are about you associate here, or is here's this your business. My business. Okay. Here's the bell curve. Okay. Okay. So we have people over here. We have people over okay. here. But for the most part, helpful. most of the part, eighty percent is here. For an hour. Okay. One hour's worth of, of work. Just your. Let's say shooting. Let's say shooting. Okay. I'll give you that. We'll separate okay. shooting and editing. It, yeah, okay. You're there shooting. How much are you worth? Just be there for an hour. Me personally. <laughs> Here's the bell curve. I don't want to get like <laughs> canceled. Here's the bell curve. Yeah. Okay. I would say, you know, you're, you're, you're here. You're you're on the upper I end. I appreciate that. Let's just... <laughs> just kidding. No, you're, you're here. The curve has to go down. Um, I, I I really do think on the top of that bell curve should be 100 bucks an hour. Maybe 75. Okay. <laughs> We're talking about averages here. <laughs> yeah, no. 800 bucks for an eight-hour day sounds pretty, for just shooting, sounds pretty fair. Yeah, I agree. I was even going to say 50. Okay. I would say 50 for, 25 to 50 for a second shooter. Okay. Yeah. I don't think second shooters are worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. I think 100 bucks an hour is very, very generous. It's very nice. And again, this kind of goes back to us getting heated about when people demand to be paid this yeah. because they're this much. It's an ego thing. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of people out there that are making consistently 125, yeah. 150, two plus an mm-hmm. hour. 
oh, but like, what about consultants and stuff? It's like, it's, yeah. I get it. I get it. We don't have day to day work. It's usually in, in you know, I'm batches. actually writing a dissertation on this topic. I can't wait for the dissertation. It covers this. Are you going to charge money for it? No, it's a YouTube video. Free. Oh, free, free content. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, because then you have to factor in, okay, well, you're also working, you're not working 40 hours a week, you're working 10 hours on a weekend. Uh, I'm here for eight hours versus like a nine to five when I'm going to be working 40 hours a week. Right. But it's also like, okay, we've chosen a job where that's that's your reality. Mm -hmm. And then it should be on you to, to add value into, that's why I asked like shooting or editing, because it's like you should be spending money the Friday editing or networking or, you know, mm -hmm. should you bake that into your shooting costs? Probably not. Right. But I do think as a wedding videographer, you're kind of wearing <clears throat> multiple hats. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you have to factor in, you know, yeah, maybe the skill set of shooting a wedding is a hundred bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. So for you, eight hundred bucks for a day. But it's like, okay, but you're also have taken time to be an audio engineer, right? And to learn all those things, and to you know deal with multi cam editing and sifting footage and factoring the cost of all the subscriptions you have to have, for like Music Bed and HoneyBook and everything. So yeah. I think that's where your price starts to grow. Mm -hmm. But I think for you to say what you're worth to just shoot a wedding, again, we're in a capitalist society, so you can be on a spectrum. Um, yeah, I think I think uh, I think we are over bloating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent, drastically 100%. what you're worth. And and I think, <clears throat> yeah, I, I would say somewhere in the fifty to hundred dollar range. Yeah. Like, let's just say someone reaches out to me out of the blue and says, "Hey, uh, I want you. I know you do video work. Uh, can you come film my? I don't know." <laughs> birthday party. Can you do a mm -hmm. birthday party slideshow? <laughs> no, like, Scam. let's just say, like, I want you to be there for three hours. Like, what would you charge? Like, that forces me to think a little more, like, okay, yeah. like, what am I per no. hour, you know? So it's like 50 then, to 100 bucks. I right, but then that's where I get bloated is because I'm like, well, I'm not going to leave my house. Right, but... I do have an ego with some things. So exactly. I'm, like, I'm not going to leave my house for 300 bucks. Right. I mean, and just because we say that, like, you don't need to get discouraged mm -hmm. and think, oh, maybe this isn't a great career path. Like, it yeah. is. Um, just because, like, even if you were worth $50 an hour, like, that's just shooting. But then there are other ways to increase your price. Like, mm -hmm. again, that's why I said disregard, like, having a separate, like, yeah. yourself in a business because then you get into, like, okay... I'm worth 50, but my business also needs to make money. So yeah, my business exactly. is going to make 50. So really, I'm 100. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's say a client's asking you to break it up for editing. Well, maybe I'm $100 total uh, for filming, but maybe my editing rate is more or less than shooting. It, there's just different ways to do it. So I'm dividing. We currently, full transparency here, we say we're, we, you and I are worth 150 an hour. Yeah. That's what we say. Yep. And so if you want us both, it's three grand yep. for a 10 hour day. Yep. Um, and, and our business makes money off of that as well. And if you want extra hours, it's just non-negotiable. It's like an extra 500 bucks. Yeah. So that way we each get our, our 150 and then our business makes 200 bucks. That's just what it is. And again, I think it's kind of because of the Wait, market. We one, 150, 200 bucks. Oh, okay. So right. yeah, if you want an extra hour of coverage, it's 500 bucks <clears throat> right, right. because you're getting two shooters for an extra hour. Um, so yeah. Uh, but that also is always fluctuating based on clients' yeah. needs and budgets and, and mm -hmm. could be more in the future. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do think it's this egotistical, annoying thing that I talk about in my dissertation about, <laughs> calling it a dissertation. It's probably just like a long YouTube video. Yeah. Um, just about how this ego pricing needs to stop. Right. It's so annoying. I don't leave my house for less than I have than a question for you Yeah. before we finish up this episode. So yeah. I came to mind. It's kind of related, kind of not. Maybe worth a separate pass. F it, we're doing it right now. Because um, you're a food guy. I like food. You know the importance of having good food at an event. I like good food in an event. So here's a question. Mm -hmm. You're throwing your wedding. Mm -hmm. Budget is tight. Mm -hmm. You really aren't willing to budge on the catering because you want good food. So the choice now... Wait, is I'm, I'm not willing to budge on the catering. Maybe not. Okay. The choice now is between a videographer and a photographer. With the budget you have, with the vendors you have chosen, what do you do? I've already decided my caterers' food. Yeah, so you're locked in with these. You, you like this catering, you like the photographer, and you like the videographer, and you're not really willing to shop for cheaper options because of the budget you have. You only can pick two. Food, photographer, videographer. Great question. <laughs> Okay. I was thinking um, a lot about it in the back of my mind as we had this conversation. <laughs> so my father, James Robert T. Hen, social security, social security, no, I'm just kidding. Um, 
he's taught me a lot of great things throughout my life. Okay, one thing he taught me, and I'll never forget it. He yeah, said, "Photographers suck." <laughs> <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> no, uh, my dad's also a huge foodie, and I remember one time he said, "Nate, I want you to sit down, picture a vacation. What's your favorite vacation?" And I was like, oh, "I was, you know, this place." And he said, "Now, okay, was food a major part of that vacation?" And I was like, "Yeah, it was." And then he said, think of all your favorite vacations. You know, I was picturing, you know, Italy. I'm thinking about Cabo. I'm thinking about all these places. Was food at the top of the list of that place, of that vacation? And I said, wasn't ev- even close. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one. Every single yeah. one of these prime vacations, I had such a good time enjoying life. There was always great food. Okay. If it was terrible, if it was terrible food, my vacation would have changed. No, it doesn't matter. Like, if, if, if it was a fun vacation, but the food sucked. Example, case in point, when I first went to Italy, our least favorite spot was Milan mm. because I had the worst pizza there. Really? That was the reason. Dude, I had great pizza in Milan. I know. We, it was yeah, a bad yeah, experience, yeah, yeah. but yeah. 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 Right? I've since so, been up for it in Milan, so but yeah. Milan's a fun place, but you had yeah. a terrible experience. Mm-hmm. And so I have been of the mindset, and we've actually t- <laughs> we've talked about this. This is a business decision at Runway Vows when we throw our workshops There needs to be good food Mm -hmm. because when there's good food, you have more of an error. You can, it it makes up for a lot. There is a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If there's good food. I know what you're trying to say. You know what I'm Um, trying to say? Like there's more of forgiveness. If the event isn't perfect. What's the word? I know. What's the word? Uh, Room for error. Room for error. Yes. When there's good food at an event or a vacation or whatever it is, when there's great food, there's more room for error to still go great. Okay, so I'm going to choose the caterer. Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Of the two out of the three options is food for Nate. Non-negotiable is the food. Caterer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I am going to go with the bias here. I'm going to go with the videographer as opposed to the photographer. Because I just think there is such power and such emotion in seeing the day as it happened. Like the, the speeches, hearing the voices, like the actual motion and not just the still pictures. If I wanted to, I could pull stills from it. So I would go with the caterer and the videographer. I concur. I would whole, wholeheartedly concur. <laughs> and I it hurts because I love my photographers. I do too. Like it's that's a hard situation. And to I'm be probably in. biased. Yeah. It's that's not hard hurtful, one. but I'm also like I'll just take some cool iPhone photos and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean. not, that's your. I'm joking, <laughs> but no. I food. It's funny because food is like a non-negotiable. Yeah. Of those three. Yeah. And yeah, I think I'd probably choose videography. Bias here. Yeah, catering videography. I actually know some photographers who would choose videography too, though. Yeah. So they see the value in it. Yeah. That was, was great, kind of related. That was, that was a great question. <laughs> great question, Jacob. Now I'm hungry. Let's go get some. Let's food. go get some food. <laughs> Sushi. <laughs> Sushi. <laughs> All right. Maybe. You guys, thanks for listening. Again, links below for everything Morocco workshop written by U Series Music Bed. All of it. Link that below. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next week on the kitchen.